Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly add an additional step to the flow I created in our how to create an Excel file in Power Automate video. This step will allow us to begin editing our new Excel document and set a few cell contents all within the Power Automate flow diagram page. Jumping back into my previous flow diagram, we can see our flow currently creates a blank Excel document, substitutes the temporary file URL for Excel file encoding, and then creates a blank Excel file in the final step. Right after the initial step creating the Excel file, let's click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar once again. From here, we're going to select the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector again, and once we reach the Actions list, we're going to search for Begin Editing Document. To set up this action, we just need to parse the temporary file URL from the previous step using the Dynamic Content window, and then we can include a file name in the second parameter. After we've included the file name, we can click New Step again between the Begin and Finish editing actions we previously created. We can once more navigate to the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector, and from here, we can search Set Update Cell Contents and select the proper action when it comes up below. Once we open this action, we'll see that it has a lot of different parameters, and most of them are optional depending on the degree to which we want to customize our new cells. Up top, we can specify the cell identifier and cell reference, and below that, we can specify a formula, style index, and text value of the cell we want to fill out. For the sake of time, I'm going to do the bare minimum in this step. First, I'm entering a cell ID, and after that, I'm entering a sample text value. Then, importantly, I'm adding the temporary URL path into the input file URL field via the dynamic content window. This part specifies that we're attaching this action to the Excel file we originally created. Once we've finished customizing our cells, we're almost done. Now, we need to jump back into the Finish Editing Document action and swap out the original temporary URL. Our new temporary URL needs to belong to the cell customization step, and we can easily parse that in using the dynamic content window like we did before. After that, I need to quickly change my file name in the Create File step so Power Automate doesn't get angry with me, and then I can save and test the flow. After the test wraps up, we can see that the flow worked smoothly once again. When I go find my new file in its folder and open it, we can see that the cell I formatted is now present within the new document. While this particular use case is obviously very straightforward, the reality is you can use the skeleton of this flow to rapidly create spreadsheets that involve text data from outside sources. You can even add those spreadsheets into existing ones on the fly and get really creative with your automation logic. I'll leave that part up to you. With our demo complete, we've reached the end of this two-part video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and check out dozens of additional Cloudmersive Power Automate demonstrations on our channel.